Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bookstalk. And this time I'm going to talk to you about uh, a book that for me every photographer must read. And this Arnheim Art and Visual Perception. <music> Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, please put a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And if you want to do a little bit more, check on my website, you can see all the books I published and if you like them, buy them and this is a great way to support the channel. This say, let's talk about this book, that is uh, Art and Visual Perception by Rudolf Arnheim. This book is fantastic and is a must to read for every photographer or better for every visual artist. Rudolf Arnheim studied the, the, what is called the psychology of perception. So he studied how the human being observe the reality, observe the sheen and perceive the reality through their eyes. So this book is 100% what you need to understand composition. And uh, it's not just uh, few rules that you can have uh, to create some composition that at the end are all the same, all the same. but this is telling you how the human being uh, perceive everything so you can you can use what you know to create the perfect composition and in the book something that is absolutely important it starts with something as the a map of the strength of the energies that uh, are inside uh, the frame and uh, for example everybody knows that if you put something in the center is static if you put something that is on the side of the image is dynamic so if you want uh, uh, a bicycle photograph a bicycle and seems to go fast put it on the side of the image on the right is going away on the left is coming in but uh, if you want something static put it in the middle of the sheet and this is just the beginning so it just starts with uh, uh, defining all this vector of forces inside the frame and it goes on and on to uh, explain and make you, make you understand how the composition is an equilibrium of forces inside the image and uh, I say that this is a book that everybody must read because uh, sadly uh, lately I see composition that are always the same there are few rules like the rule of thirds uh, the golden spiral or the golden section on this kind of things and nothing more a uh, couple of years ago or probably five or six now uh, but uh, I was uh, watching the judging of contest uh, in uh, online it was an important international contest from a photographic association and they had the judging of the cost and test online that, that here i didn't participate to the contest so it was fantastic because i was just looking for curiosity without a personal interest and uh, at a certain point i saw a beautiful picture that was a, a kind of an escape with the water in the middle with the sea or something like that or a lake i don't remember but was the horizon was perfectly in the middle and there were two or three elements perfectly composite it was a perfect static image quite calm it was giving really an idea of perfect calm and uh, at arrived at the judges and uh, was yeah okay and uh, one of the judges was a woman uh, i don't know who she was i knew a lot of other voices but uh, i didn't recognize the, her voice and she said uh, oh but i don't like it too much or something like that she challenged the image and at some point said yeah but it doesn't even follow the rule of the arts and for me that was uh, uh, kind of impressive i was expecting the other judges to say wait a moment uh, following the rule of thirds is not uh, something that is, uh, I mean, is essential. It's, there's thousand, thousand different compositions, but they didn't. So at the end of the game, this image didn't got any merit. And uh, it was kind of sad to see this. And I look around and I see a lot of images that just follow the same composition. Always the rule of thirds. Always... Uh, uh, if there's something different is the golden spiral or something like that so 
it's just uh, very, very limited. And uh, what you find in this book is all what the composition is about. And there's a lot of uh, examples of uh, uh, all the paintings, uh, other form of arts, uh, just not photography, uh, where there's uh, a lot of going on. And uh, Arnaim shows you um, all the all the way all the rules that the, our brain uh, use to uh, see an image. So all these uh, it goes uh, further uh, than what you think, and it makes you realize when you compose an image, when you take a picture, that you can compose the elements uh, in a way that is. Uh, there's a perfect dynamic and a perfect equilibrium inside the image. I discovered this book uh, a lot of years ago. I was doing a, I was attending a workshop about uh, infrared photography. I will think it was Frank Di Turi, uh, the, the the teacher. We were in Gubbio, and there was uh, a guy attending the workshop. That uh, nice person. I don't remember the na his name. Uh, he was working for the television at the time, and. Um, he saw one of my prints that we were in the dark room. I printed an image, and as soon as I printed the image, he looked at the image. Was yeah, this one will work. I was what do you mean? And he was yeah, because you have this triangle that balances the other triangle, and this line that balances the line, blah 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 blah. And he made an analysis of my image, and it was wow, that's nice. And I was okay, but uh, what this come from? And he told me. You never had uh, Rudolf Arnheim, read uh, Rudolf Arnheim, and I was nope. And so I bought the book, uh, and this really changed my life. And you will see that uh, in the world of photography and in terms of composition, there's really a ton of things that can uh, uh, permit you to create images that are good composed and in a total different way that is not the banal things and by the way to come back to the famous contest that i was talking about uh, you can have a fantastic image that gives the idea of quiet you don't need dynamic in every image so a square format with the horizon in the middle or better a little bit out of the middle but not too much uh, it will give you the perfect idea of equilibrium and or a static subject and if you want to express that in an image you can do that and you can do that in a proper way and uh, uh, everything we look around uh, we can compose the image in a way that is balanced that there's a lot of uh, uh, different uh, um, movements inside the image and we don't need always to have these uh, uh, elongated formats uh, uh, that now are really trendy, like the panoramic or something like that. So very elongated formats with uh, uh, a very huge dynamic on all the image. We can have uh, the dynamic in a part of the image, static on the other part, and so on. So I gave you just a few examples and why I really love this book and I think everybody must read it. But uh, by this book, this will change your life uh, on composition. And there's another thing why I say you need to read this is because uh, lately we are all concentrated only on the cameras. And always with digital, it's always a matter of camera, it's an always a matter of settings, it's always a matter of uh, something that is technical, that is. Uh, uh, we have to do is the setting in the menu and all these kind of things and we forget to think about the most important thing after the light that is the composition so in a great image you have to worry about the light and you have to worry about the composition the light is what forms the image what forms the patterns in the image what forms the forms in the images and the composition is what put together these forms and create something that is uh, a fantastic equilibrium and is an image that will attract the eyes of the people, will attract the viewer to really look and appreciate the image. So at the end, get this book, fantastic one, and thank you for 
looking at these videos if you want to support the channel please check out subscribe put a like and check out my books uh, in jet fine art print is one lasting photograph is a novel based on photography and aviation that very good reviews and photography the f manual is another um, book with all the basics of photography and uh, go on my website check also my photographic books thank you for watching see you next time with another video bye